Hey guys, it's Val here and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a get ready with me kind of video. I've never done one of these before. I filmed one a while back and I was supposed to upload it probably I think ending of October, early November. But it's on my other laptop which is not cooperating. So that's exactly why it never went up. So I thought why not do it again. Maybe that one wasn't meant to be and... Yeah, so this is my face. I do have BB cream on already. Not because I'm insecure about my face, because I will show you, I will gladly show you how my face looks without makeup. But what happened was I forgot I was going to film this, and I already had started just putting this on. And this is like really lightweight and light coverage, so I'm barely covering anything. Um, so yeah, this is the BB cream that I use. It's crap, honestly. I don't know, I used to like it, but I guess now that I've gotten more of a breakout recently, out of nowhere, um, it's really, I don't know, it's not bad, but I bought it because it has 2% um, salicylic acid, which fought acne, and it really doesn't. If you have any recommendations of any great BB cream, CC creams, I'm just gonna cover up my under eyes with this CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous, which I do usually use a foundation, like if I'm going out and I'm gonna be out all day. That has full coverage, but it makes me orange after a while, which is ridiculous. Um, but I just use this, which I'm almost out, but at the same time, I really don't like how streaky this is. So if I'm looking this way, I'm looking in a mirror, even though I can look here because it's my iPad, but, um, yeah. Please do not judge. I am not a professional, honestly. I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to makeup. I just go with whatever works for me, and I hope you guys understand that. I only put it under my eyes because I ha I'm an insomniac and um, I have really bad eyes. I don't know if you can see how streaky this thing is. It wasn't streaky when I first got it and now it's like really bad. I'm so white you can't even tell. <laughs> the camera makes me whiter than what I am. Oh man. It's like really, really streaky. By the way, I am filming every day in December. I don't know how this is going to work out, but I'm doing it and I'm really excited to challenge myself to get a video up. Today is December 1st, but I already had a video that I was contemplating on posting for a while. Um, so I just edited it last night, and that's going to be today's video, and this one's going up tomorrow, so I kind of cheated. Better something than nothing at all. I don't know if you can see it, but it's it's manageable. It's weird. I just use this Real Techniques um, pointy foundation brush as a concealer brush. I'm all about breaking the rules. Um... I'm just putting on a little bit of lip balm just because my lips feel a little chapped. I just actually kind of like got up to get ready for the day. Okay. Eyebrows. I always do my eyebrows after I do my like foundation or BB cream. So let's get on. So let's get on to this. I use the Nuditude palette by The Balm and I, I mix two colors because my eyebrows are naturally black. Um, so I use the color Sultry in the palette as well as Sleek. So I just use the brush that it came with because it's really manageable to do and I like really natural looking eyebrows. I don't overdo it. I normally brush my eyebrows before like after I wash my face and before. Whenever I am doing makeup, especially this BB cream or the foundation by CoverGirl, I tend to use, um, I scrub, I use a scrub for my face in the morning. I don't always use it. I use the Lush, um, okay, I need this a little closer. I use the Lush Ocean Salt and it works wonders for my skin especially when I need a smooth kind of texture to my face okay this is really hard to film 
Like, excuse my hair. My hair is like a hot mess. I think I'm done with them. They don't look as perfect as I would want them. But then again, I'm not going anywhere. This is just a video to show you what my everyday kind of everyday kind of makeup looks like. Next we have eyes, and I've been obsessed with Carly Bible's palette. Um, I, I don't know, it's worth the $12 in my opinion. Go to palette ever since I've gotten it. I'm just all about the neutrals, and I've even been branching out into this like dark color over here because it makes, I don't know, I just, I love it. So I just use this color, the, the whitest color there for my eye. Just because it's dark and I'm still not about ed like venturing out into colors like that. So, and that was just the Elf um, eyeshadow brush, and now I'm using a Real Techniques um, deluxe crease brush. Actually, using something the right way, and I'm just like blending it. It doesn't look like anything came out on that side. But that's how I have white. I don't really go for darker colors. I have a little bit more. Okay, that was a lot more. I don't know if you can see it. That is because I have like this lighting in front of me. So it's kind of hard for me to actually see. probably looks really dark and it's not go back in with the same brush and just go back with the nude color just because I want it to look very much more nude and just have a pop of red um, so then like with my finger I just take the shimmery color just because it's a little more festive for the holiday season but I haven't worn shimmer in so long I'll go back to that palette and a um, little thing here and I got this a while ago in a swap and I've only just started using it recently so I used the bronzer it's the hula bronzer and I just used a little brush it comes with sometimes I contour my nose but I mean it's a little you guys know I have a big nose, so it doesn't matter to me today. That's as much as I get done. Real Techniques buffing brush. Just because I don't want it to look very harsh. I have no idea why my nose is so drippy. That's because I don't want to do super harsh on my face. Then I go in with my blush, which is the NYC just blush palette. I don't know. I don't know the name, it's just, I've had it for a long time, I got it in a swap as well. I just like, swirl it around, because I like this one the most, because it has like the bronzy shades, the pinks, and neutrals, so it's like all in one. And like I said, I don't like looking too much, like... I think I put too much blush on that side. Then to just run this blush like through all, throughout my whole face and then again taking that brush again and it's a contour brush I don't know how to contour for the life of me so I'm using it as a highlight and I'm just using the highlight color here probably the longest video I've had on this channel um, I hate when one side looks more shiny than the other that happens to me a lot and I always think that I put too much. Then I'm taking that same thing. Because I don't want to look overly highlighted. I love the look on other people. But I just look like an oily hot mess. So it's just not worth it. In my opinion. It's Lancome. Um, little deluxe sample. Mascara. And I really like this one. It came with the fiber version with it. Well, the fiber mascara as well. But I don't feel like putting too much, wasting that, and then I just put it on, I love what this does to my lashes, and this is without the fibers, and I already have really full lashes, so it's kind of, 
perfect in my opinion. I don't put anything on the bottom lashes just because I look like spider, spider eye. Taking this brown and I'm putting it in just the inner corner of my eyes today. And just because brown makes my light brown eyes pop a little bit more, especially when I put it here. But this is just the Maybelline Lasting Drama Waterproof. And I think my eyes are kind of allergic to it now. And I'm just using the NYX Mauve. This is like my all-time favorite one. I need to sharpen it, but um, yeah. Uh, it's my all-time favorite one. I have plenty of backups because since this is a dupe for Max Whirl, around where I live, we don't have a Max, so this one goes out pretty damn quick. So I just put this. Sometimes I just wear this alone, or sometimes I just use it as just the base. I have like really naturally full lips, which is a great thing. I used to hate hate that I had like full lips because I felt like my lips were so big. Then I'm going in with um, Too Faced Lip Injection Color Bombs. They do not do these anymore and I hate that. I have to look on eBay to buy a new one. Well, this is the final look. It's just more of a make and like no makeup kind of look because that's what I go for. I don't go for the whole contouring thing because I don't know how to do it. And plus, I don't have time for all of that. I'm a little bit on the lazier side when it comes to applying makeup. So thumbs up this video if you'd like to see more kind of get ready with me videos including outfits. And I will gladly do that for you. So yeah, let me know in the comments below if you like it. Um, I'm intrigued about your opinions i know i just talked a lot and this is probably the longest video i have to chop it down it's already at 18 minutes can't believe it um but yeah i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button and it'll make my day happy holidays to everyone and i'll see you tomorrow in my next video bye guys